Hi, my name is Adenuga Sunday Joseph, Pastor of Success Dimension Church, okay, to know Ibadan. In this presentation, I want to speak unto you about let not your heart be troubled. These words came from the mouth of Jesus when he was planning to try to go to heaven. He told the disciples, let not your heart be troubled, because he knew that leaving them on the face of the earth, many of them will be afraid, many of them will be troubled. I don't know what you are going through. God has given me this word for you to assure you and to tell you that you should not allow your heart to be troubled. I don't know what you are going through. Are you going through problems, recurring sickness, or the doctor have given up on you that you would die? Or maybe there's lack of money, or maybe because you have been rejected by a loved one. God has given me this word for you let not your heart be troubled god knows what you are going through god is interested in you god loves you and is giving you this word today let not your heart be troubled god is speaking directly to you why is this saying so in the book of isaiah chapter 43 verse 18 and 19 god is saying that he will do great things God has sent me to promise you that he will do great things for you. Why must you allow the devil to make your heart to be troubled? Why must you allow evil? Why must you allow that problem to subdue you? You are created in the image of God. When you are made, God said to you, be fruitful and multiply. Replenish the heart and subdue it. You have the power to subdue. You have the power to overcome. And God said, last they said, have dominion. Don't let that thing scare you. You have the power to scare the devil. The devil is not supposed to scare you. You are supposed to scare the devil. Go out now and make that thing that is making you afraid to be afraid. Go and inject fear to your fear. Drive fear away. Let not your heart be troubled. The Lord is with you. The Lord is on your side. May the Lord bless you and keep you all the days of your life. Should you have any problem, you can email me at sourcesdimensionchurch at yahoo.com. Sourcesdimensionchurch at yahoo.com. Or for more encouragement, you can visit my website, www.motivationfortoday.com. For, as in, for Arabic, figure four. Motivation, figure four, today.com. Motivationfortoday.com. The Lord bless you. As you visit the site, it is well with you. Amen. God bless you.